Hi and welcome back! On this channel we have already covered uh, German vegetarian dishes as well as German fish dishes. So I think now it's the time to show you my 10 favorite German meat dishes. Those of you who've been watching our channel for a while are not surprised to see Zwiebelrostbraten. Traditionally, Zwiebelrostbraten is fried roast beef that is served with a sauce and fried onions on the top. There are few regional varieties of this dish because it's not only popular here in Germany but also in Austria. In Germany, the dish is popular in Swabia and in Allgäu, where it's served with Spätzle, so the German egg noodles, sometimes also with Käse Spätzle, so the ones with the cheese. And as you can see on the screen, sometimes this dish is prepared by using different kind of meat. The dish is extremely delicious and if you are in Austria or South Germany, it is a must. The next meat dish that I would like to mention is called Sauerbraten, so sour roast. And this is a marinated beef roast. The marinade contains, depending on the region, vinegar or wine, water, herbs and some spices. The beef has to marinate from 3 up to 10 days and then it would be roasted and served traditionally with potato pancakes or potato dumplings. The regions where you can try this particular piece of meat are Franconia, Rhineland, Thuringia, Saarland and Swabia. The next piece of meat that I need to mention is Tafelspitz and this is a boiled veal or beef in the broth and then served with different sauces. On the screen now you can see the veal top side and here in Frankfurt we serve it with a Frankfurt green sauce, obviously. But in Franconia, for example, you could have it with their traditional horseradish sauce. Other very traditional German meat dish are the beef rolls. For the beef rolls we usually use beef round steaks that are pounded and stuffed with bacon, onions, mustard and pickles as well as salt and pepper. In Germany, they are served usually with potato dumplings and apple red cabbage. The beef roll I ordered was actually stuffed a bit differently because it was stuffed with carrots, onions, bacon, mustard, salt and pepper. This is another traditional variation of a beef roll and not that common to find, so I was lucky. And talking about the rolls, we cannot forget the Kohlrolladen, so the cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls are filled with a meat filling that consists of minced meat, onion, salt, pepper, sometimes a bread roll, myron and bacon. The rolls are braised in the meat broth and served with potatoes. From the broth and the meat juice you can also make a sauce. Trust me, the sauce completes the dish perfectly. Kohlrolladen in Germany have a different names. They can be called Kohlrollen, Krautwurst, or Krautwege, and sometimes are also prepared uh, with a different uh, kind of cabbage, for example the Savoy cabbage. The next very popular dish all over Germany are the Frikadellen, so the German meatballs. Here in Germany we prepare them with minced pork and beef meat, salt, pepper, mustard, onion, egg that holds the ingredients together and the bread roll for the fluffiness. How we spice it? It depends on the family recipe, obviously. We love serving our frikadellen with potato salad or simple bread roll and mustard. I didn't want to skip in this video a German liver, so the Leber Berliner Art. The dish is very popular in the Berlin area, but you can find it in some restaurants all over Germany as well. Here we are talking about fried veal liver that is served with mashed potatoes, fried onions and apples on the top, as well as this delightful roast sauce. When I was a child I didn't like this dish too much, but now I seriously love it. I guess it's like a mustard and ketchup situation. There wouldn't be German meat video without mentioning German schnitzel. In Germany, when we talk about schnitzel, we usually mean a boneless pork that is coated and fried. 
The first original schnitzel comes actually from Austria and it's called Vienna schnitzel and here we are talking about a schnitzel that is made of veal and served with potato salad and lingonberry sauce. In Germany you can also find it on the menu and apart from this you can also find schnitzel Wiener Art, which is the pork schnitzel that I mentioned before, that is served with different sauces. Last year I have prepared a video how to make the sauces for schnitzel and I covered there the cream, hunters, gypsy and the onion sauce. And now finally something very interesting and uh, this is called Leberkäse, which literally means liver cheese. And this meat dish is typical in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. In the end Leberkäse usually doesn't consist liver but corned beef, pork, bacon and it's made by grinding the ingredients very finely and then baking it in a loaf in a bread pan. The word Leber comes actually from the Leib, so the English loaf, and therefore it is called Leberkäse. Leberkäse is very popular German street food, so it's usually served uh, with a bread roll and mustard. And the last piece of meat that I would like to mention is called Schäufele, so pork shoulder. This pork shoulder I had in Franconia and this particular piece of meat was seasoned with salt, pepper and caraway and then was put in a casserole dish and braised for at least two hours. The meat was soft from inside and crispy from outside, or exactly how it should be. And now let's be honest, I discovered a fraction of the meat dishes that we actually offer here in Germany. If you would like to see more of the German meat dishes, please let me know in the comments down below. So now you know exactly what meat dishes uh, you can try on your trip to Germany. To make the travel for food in Germany easier for you, I have prepared the traditional German food checklist. To find out how to get this checklist, please watch the video that I'm gonna put in the top right corner and in the description box down below. If you don't know me yet, my name is Marta from Cooking the World and I am food guide in Frankfurt. If you have any questions regarding German food and traveling for food here in Germany, please let me know in the comments down below. All the dishes that I have mentioned in this video are written in the description box down below in German and in English as well. For more content about food, please follow us on Facebook. Stay safe and I see you in the next one. Bye!